Hello, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> I heard you heard me, didn't you? <laughs> when you see them get it, when they it clicks in their head, the idea or the topic, when you see it click, it clicks for me too. We love coming to church. I love seeing them get excited. Um, I love hearing them retell me the stories of what they think they've learned. <laughs> You know, sometimes it's interpretive, but you know, they love and they get real excited about it and I love that experience and seeing that in them. With Ethan, he loves to come to church. Matter of fact, he'll be waking up through the week going, do we got church today? Just the growth that I have seen in my son has been astounding. Also love seeing Brian especially um, minister to people. You know, he must tell everybody about Jesus. Definitely when he sees people and says, you know, Mom, I think they need help and things like that. It, it just lets me know that, that my kids are in a place where they're being fed and they're growing and it's just amazing to watch them blossom. started um, teaching a class by myself, which I never thought I would be able to do. They kept saying they're just kids. <laughs> I'm like, but it's so important. So, and then eventually I watched them and I learned and I picked it up and, and really paid attention. And, and I learned as much as the kids were learning there for a while. It was as much, I was just in, amazed. I'd go home and just be like, wow, that was so cool. <laughs> so it, it was me growing along with it. And I still do every day. We all love it so much right here. We get to be ourselves. And I think, in all honesty, the biggest change is with myself. I'm being maybe selfish when I say it. It's all about me, but it's what God's doing in me by using them. So when we first get there, and we have, if we have time, and we're early, we get to play on the equipment. And then when it's time, when it's time to sing and dance, we have to get in our rectangles, but they call them squares. Um, and then we sing and dance to a song, and then we sit down, in our, in our square, and then we watch a video, and then when it's time, we, we give our offering, and then we go to small groups and talk about our lesson. You have to get outside your comfort zone. You have to get outside the box in order to be alive, and that's what has really made the difference in my life, was I was in a cocoon. I was in a box where I was safe. I controlled it my own mess <laughs> and then when I got outside of there it was like daylight you know and it, it was wonderment and finally I felt alive again you know we go somewhere and all three of them are in the back seat singing songs and worshiping that means to me that my brother and my sister-in-law and I are doing something right by introducing them to to having a relationship with Christ and the best way is by watching us have a better relationship Bringing children in the church, um, I believe that the ministry that goes on needs to be both families and the church and the whole community. Everybody's involved. I've got teachers that pray for my kids. I've got churches, members of the church that pray for the kids and pray for me dealing with the kids. <laughs> you know, we all do this together. And I think if any part of that piece was missing, and I've got kids that will pray for other people, and if any of it's missing, it just doesn't stand the test of time. It doesn't hold up. Us parents and us adults have to keep on it, though. You know, we cannot let this go. We cannot drop our guard at all. We can't let, let the church be the only person or the only body of people that tell our children about Jesus and about God's Word. Yeah, come we on, parents. <laughs> I'm it's good. It's good. You just preached my sermon. It's good. I'm, you know what? <laughs> I mean, in all honesty, it is, it is more life-changing for us. If you don't think you're adequate enough, you're perfect for it. I think that that church is taking it not just to the next generation, but to the people that it needs to be taken to, the broken and the ones that we need to reach, the ones that are like me that are afraid and just need someone to say it's okay and you're okay and, you know, it's going to be okay. I will worship Jesus. That's awesome, Charlie. <clears throat> what is your favorite thing about coming to church? Um, um, rushing up and playing. 
worship and playing. Do we do both of that here? Yes. Yes. Who do we worship? Jesus. God. Do we? Why does we want? To, why do we worship Jesus? Because he's our only God. He is our only God. And what does and he do for do us? He died for the sins. Yes. Hey, Kenzie, do you know that God loves you? Yes. Do you think he wants to use you? Yes. That's awesome. Hey, Ethan, did you know that God, do you know, do you believe that God loves you? Yes. You do? Do you know that God, do you believe that God wants to use you? Yes. yes. All right, now let me ask you this. Do you love Jesus? Yes. Hey, let me ask you this, Charlie. Do you think God loves you? Yes, he loves everybody.